Uh, welcome again. So here is another question. Uh, we are going to look at the inaccessibility in account. Uh, this is a November 2023 question uh, that we are going to do and we are going to work here. So this is just a simple question uh, by the Gera Steven. So that is a um, lecture at Mahamati Technical. I uh, will be covering the accessibility in curves. Simple question. So let's go directly. So this is a November 2023. And uh, this question paper is not clearly seen. I wasn't able to get uh, much of a clear copy. But from what we have here, we can still do something constructive with it. Uh, so the figure 2 shows two streets. Uh, a, I, and B are connected by a simple circular curve on through a chain in basis and the intersection point is inaccessible. Uh, using the data provided determine the chain of the target points. Uh, so that is T1 and T2. Then the deflection angles for the first subcode, second subcode and the last subcode. Then from there, so here is the figure. So the figure here we have T1, A, B, T2. So the distance A, B is 630.35 meters. And then angle I. Uh, so this angle I from here, intersection, uh, to A, to B. So there we have it. We'll, we will have a clear copy. So... Uh, I have already done this. Then angle A, B, I, uh, we have been given that. Then chain agent A, we have that chain agent, and that is the most important point that we'll be using to calculate the deflection angles for the first subcode. Then from there, we'll be using the curve length to get the others. Uh, so the standard code is 30 meters, and then we have a radius of 550 meters. This rough figure. Uh, we have uh, from T1 to A and then from B to T2. So the angles are here. I have clearly illustrated. Then the chin edge at A, we have it. The colon there, we have that. So that is 30. Uh, given this is a simple representation. So we have been given the internal angles directly there. Those are the values that we'll be calculating. And then the distance AB uh, was given in the question. So not clearly, but that distance was the first thing that was given there. You can see that. And then the radius R is here. So we need to calculate the T1 and T2. Uh, let's go directly. So the change of the tangent points T1 and T2. We calculate the distance uh, from A to I. So A to I from where we have here. So A to I point of intersection here. I uh, will we'll get that value from the sign rule. So that's the simple representation. And before we get that value from the sign rule, we need to know the value of the angle here. So by addition of these two angles and the property of a right angle, uh, so this is just a triangle. So all angles add up to 180 degrees. By subtracting the addition of these two, we we'll have gotten our value. That is what I've done. So 180 minus the addition of those two angles provide them, and our value becomes 47, 4, 10 uh, deg degrees. So this is the angle of intersection. Then by subtracting 180 degrees from this value, we'll have gotten the deflection angle. Uh, we're going to calculate the tangent length, uh, the formula R tan theta over 2. Uh, the R here we have 550 tan uh, theta over theta is uh, 135, 55, 50 divided by 2. So this value is gotten from uh, subtracting 180 from that. So 180 from the intersection angle here, we get the 
value here. So from T1 to I, that is the tangent length, we get our value as 1358.93 meters. So that the value we are going to be using later. Then we go and we calculate the distance uh, that is from I to T by the use of the sine rule. So A is equal to sine A. Uh, so A over sine A is equal to C over sine C. So A over sine A, which is found on the figure here. So the sine A is the opposite angle, which is 63, 10, uh, 20. Uh, from the here, we compute the value of C. C is the distance covered. So our C is from A to B. This is the value of the distance. Then the angle opposite to it is the addition that we had earlier done. Then subtracting 180 degrees to get that angle. That is 47, uh, 0, 4, 10. And our final answer becomes uh, 768.25 meters. Uh, from there, we calculate the distance that remains. Uh, to be covered and that distance is from A to T1 so this is the remaining distance so we have done from here to A that we have calculated we had the total distance which was the tangent length uh, from here to T1 so we need to start this value found here in order for us to pull it down there so we go directly so the tangent length here we had already calculated it minus the distance that we have gotten now here uh, by subtracting that two we'll get our distance of t1 to a and that distance will be 590.67 that distance remaining, I'll use the chain that we have been given of A and subtract that distance calculated here and I'll have gotten my change of T1. So that is the change of the first tangent point. Then we go ahead and we calculate the change of the second tangent point that is T2. So T2, uh, the formula. So T2 is equals T1 plus curve length. The formula of the curve length is found here. You just put these values directly in your calculator. Uh, by having that, our final answer of the curve length becomes 1304.84 meters. Uh, returning to the formula, T2 is equal to uh, the value of T1, got an earlier, plus the curve length, and you will get our T2 as 47.71.14 meters. By doing that, I'll have finished those two values and the calculations. Then we go directly to the deflection angles, the calculation of the deflection angles. So we first start by calculating C1. This is the code one, C1. So some places they use the M. So in my case, I use the C1. Uh, get my C1 from T1 so I'll find the full chain that will have occurred before reaching T1 uh, by dividing by 30 and I'll have gotten uh, 115 full chains so the distance covered by the 115 full chains are 3450 that means the remaining distance that was to be covered in order for me to reach T1 this value here I'll subtract the full change from uh, the of T1 and the remaining distance will be uh, 16.31 uh, so my the, my first code will be 30 that is a, a full chain uh, that is 30 meters minus 16.31 getting my answer as 13.69 meters then I'll go ahead and calculate C2 that is the second code and the adjacent codes 
So already on my curve length of 100 and uh, 1,304.84 meters, I'll have already covered uh, the 13. I subtract that. So by subtracting that, I'll remain this value uh, 12.91.5 meters. That is the remaining distance found on the curve. So I had already subtracted the 13 found here from T1. So this is the distance that was covered. So the remaining distance on the curve, I will need to calculate the codes that will be present there. And those codes are what I'm going to be using. Uh, so the, the distance that uh, was the remaining are uh, 12.91.15 uh, divided by 30 chains. Uh, so by dividing that I get my 43 full chains. The distance covered by the 43 full chains was 1290. So 1290, the remaining distance to the last uh, distance covered on the curve. So the total distance covered on the curve was, the remaining total distance was 1291.15. So by subtracting the full, I'll get my last Code. So that is a subcode as 1.15. So I have my full codes there. Uh, my standard codes, they are 30 meter. Then the last code is 1.15. Uh, by having those values, I go directly to my formulas of calculating the deflection angles. So the first subcode is equals to 1718.85 multiplied by code 1 over R multiplied by CDC. So this is uh, just a simple formula found in the Rankine's method or the deflection angle method. So by inputting my value there, I'll get my final. So here we have the radius. So by the use of a calculator, correctly use of a calculator, my final answer becomes uh, 0 degrees 42 minutes and 47 seconds. So after calculating this value in the calculator, remember to press that button there where we have, uh, I don't know, is a pink or a red B. So in order for us to convert our answer into a uh, this here is a degree minutes and seconds. So the same will be done. So we have 30 meter. That is a full code. I uh, will do the same calculation. Then the last code, our uh, C, uh, that is the last subcode as 1.15. By the use of a calculator, you'll get your final correct uh, value there. So those are just the simple representations uh, I hope you have learned something good extra for more information feel free to get me at my email I found on the description of the channel so that is grass TV at gmail uh, .com. Uh, so that is the simplest way you can reach me and make sure to subscribe and to gain more from my channel uh, that will be all uh, from my technical thank you